Greetings, greetings, greetings everybody. June Allen here, founder of The Art of Greatness at juneallen.net. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday. I hope you're enjoying your Easter break if you celebrate Easter. So today I want to talk about how to be your own best friend, okay? How to be your own best friend. So but before I get into it, I'm just going to give you a little bit of... um. Uh, context if you don't if you've never um don't know anything about what i do hi thanks for joining so i run a um a mastermind a wellness mastermind for black women and um uh, i run the mastermind uh, for black women who are struggling with self-love uh sisterhood and um and sobriety and i'm also a student psychotherapist absolutely love what i do um and so yeah so i'm on today to talk about at how to be your own best friend okay so if you know someone who is interested in wanting to learn how to be your own best friend um as a black woman um then share it with them tag them if you've got any questions or anything about anything that i share today please feel free to drop them in the comments below or you can send me a direct message if you don't feel confident to do that or you can drop me an email info at yard of greatness dot com all right so let's crack on um for the with the content so the reason why i wanted to do this live stream today is that there is so much going on at the moment there is so much going on in the world at the moment and sometimes it can become quite overwhelming um i personally have taken a bit of a step back over the last i would say couple of months um i was feeling very very burnt out in terms of basically lockdown burnout and um, I just needed to take a little bit of a step back. So I was still running the mastermind and doing all of the stuff behind the scenes. But in terms of being more visible on social media and stuff like that, um, you know, I was still doing my, my live streams once a week. But, I, you know, I just had to take a bit of a step back because it just became overwhelming. And also as somebody as a therapist and you know, looking after the, the ladies in my mastermind and, um, you know, sh working with my one-to-one -one clients and stuff like that, I need, it's important that I practice what I preach because there's a lot of people are bringing a lot of stuff into the sessions um, that is, you know, quite traumatic for them. A lot of grief, a lot of pain, a lot of um, so many different issues that have come up as a result of what's happened during the pandemic and also just what's happening in their daily lives and their relationships. And so as a therapist, it's important for me to practice what I preach. So, you know, when I get to those those points where I'm starting to feel overwhelmed um, and I just I just know when I need to take a bit of a break. So it was important for me to take a bit of a step back. Now, all the stuff that's going on at the moment, we've got the George Floyd uh, uh, trial that's going on at the moment, which is very intense. Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining. Um, we've also got, you know, there's that recent race report as well that came out, um, you know, trying to trying to uh, say that Britain is not institutionally racist, which we all know is horse, S-H-I-T. Um, but yeah, so even that in of itself is just more gaslighting, more, more exhaustion, more, it's just more racist stuff that's just really annoying. So there's that going on. And then there's the really, really sad news about... Um, you know, the, the recent death of this, this black brother, um, Richard, um, who was found in, in Epping Forest. I know that they're still, you know, they're still trying to find out what happened to him and all the rest of it. Um, but all of these things, you know, and this is this is not including all of the day to day stuff that we normally have to deal with. It's it's painful and it's overwhelming and it's intense. It's a lot for us to carry. It's a lot for us to carry. So learning how to be your own best friend is a really, really important thing to think about as as, as black women. Um, I know some of us have got children and stuff. We're still trying to manage our, our, our um, we're still trying to manage our, ourselves around that. Um, I know in the UK we're just sort of coming out of lockdown, so there's a lot of us trying to navigate that as well and kind of settle our children back into school. There's a lot going on. And so really, it's really, really important. I wanted to come on and do this, this live stream today because it's just like a, a refresher, a reminder to, to let you know that being your own best friend is really, really important. Um, and what I want to do is, is share, um, explore three important areas for you to look at um, around being your own best friend. But in a nutshell, the overall thing that's really, really important about doing this is learning how to uh, set loving boundaries with yourself okay now normally when we talk about boundaries or loving boundaries we know we normally think about 
other people it's normally we normally try and set boundaries around the external okay we're normally talking about setting boundaries around other people so that we feel comfortable that we feel safe and all the rest of it but what i want to bring to you today is the concept of learning how to set boundaries within yourself okay learning how to set the boundaries from within yourself not thinking about other people because when you're clear about where your boundaries are within yourself then it's, it, it's easier to set boundaries around other people because the boundary is with you. The commitment and the responsibility is with you. And what other people say, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to, um, it's easy for you to say, no, I'm not going to do that because then you're, you don't want to betray yourself. You don't want to abandon yourself. You don't want to harm yourself. Okay. So it's really, really important to think about it in those terms because sometimes I think with the anxiety around setting boundaries around people, it's that thing of, oh, you know, well, is that person going to be upset with me? Um, and you're afraid of, you know, that sometimes the people pleasing stuff can come up quite intensely and it becomes more difficult for us to set the boundary around the other person externally. But when we're thinking about what we need, when we're thinking about what's important for our wellness, especially with everything that's going on, I think it becomes it becomes a much easier decision. It's not always easy, you know, especially if you're used to behaving or doing things a certain way that are not particularly healthy. But that's where the boundaries have to start. The boundaries have to start with 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 you. If you can really get clear on what your needs are, on what you need to do in order to to stay well, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to 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 you know to say it to other people because you know where you are. OK, so I'm going to explore three things with you, OK, that are important for you to, to think about um, when it comes to um, setting love and boundaries with yourself. So the first thing is where are you spending your time? OK, how are you spending your time? And it might sound like a really obvious thing where you spending your time, but a lot of us are not always conscious about where we spend our time. We tend to, you know, especially in, in lockdown as well. And we've been obviously at home, a lot of us for, for nearly for a year. It's been over a year. We've been doing a lot of this stuff. You know, are you just kind of rolling out of bed and then getting on your phone or just kind of falling into the day without any sort of plan or preparation for what you want to achieve from the day, what you want to, um, you know, how you want to feel throughout the day, what you're going to do about your relationships, how you're going to manage work, all that kind of stuff. Instead of just kind of falling into the day and drifting into it, you know, create some sort of structure, create some sort of structure for yourself. And so time boundaries Having time boundaries is one of the most loving things that you can do for yourself. When are you going to have time during the day to check in with yourself? Every day, I have I have a, a point of the a point of the, a section of the day where I check in with myself. I do a bit of meditation. I think about what I'm going to do during the day. I have a look at my calendar. Um, even all my self care stuff. You know, am I going to be seeing my therapist today? Um, am I going to be doing some meditation today? Am I going to go out for a walk today? Who am I going to connect with today that's going to help me to sort out maybe something that I've got going on? Or maybe, you know, what fun are you going to have today? What are you going to do today that's going to help you experience some pleasure, some joy, some fun? Being your best friend means you have to take responsibility for what happens with your time. And setting those time boundaries is really important. It might be that you just say, okay, well, you know, I don't want to spend all day cleaning or I don't want to spend all day doing this and that or drifting or whatever. So it, sometimes having days not doing anything is a good thing as well. But what I'm saying is sometimes if you can, if you can say, okay, well, I'm going to spend the next hour doing some journaling um, or maybe I'm going to spend some time, you know, get walk, going for a walk for an hour or whatever. If you can find time to structure your self-care your self-love that is the that that is how you're being your best friend because you're just not you're just not leaving the day to fate you're actually taking responsibility for what's going on for you and it, it's checking in with yourself and going okay well how do I feel about today what do I need today what needs what what's um what are the priorities that I need to put in place today to make sure that I have a really good day is there stuff that I need to take off my calendar have I got too much packed in my calendar? This is something else that I've been, that I've been doing as well. My my word for this year has been spaciousness. Okay, my word for this year has been spaciousness, and I've actually been quite gobsmacked at how loaded that word has been because I've had to make some really painful decisions about what are the things that are not allowing me to create space. And when I'm talking about space, I'm not just talking about physical space. I'm talking about emotional space. 
space for me to to feel, space for me to think, space for me to focus on the relationships that really matter to me. And in order for me to do that, I've had some, to make some really difficult decisions, but it was worth it because I feel, I'm, I'm, I'm now we're, we're in the, on the second quarter of the year, I feel more focused, I feel more, um, uh, I feel more connected to myself, I feel more connected to my friends, I feel more connected to, you know, around a lot of things because I've had to really take the time to be clear and be really honest with myself about where I'm spending my time. Okay, where I'm spending my time. So that's really, really important. The second thing, okay, around being your own best friend is where are you spending your energy? Okay, where are you spending your energy? Now, with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, the stuff that I talked about at the top of the top of the broadcast, um, you know, it's easy to kind of get dragged into these things because these are emotional things. These are things that trigger us. All of the stuff around racism and George Floyd and all that, it, it, it's going to invoke emotion, Okay, it's going to invoke emotion. It's going to invoke a lot of things that are painful. Some of it's going to be traumatizing. Okay, but you have to be willing to make the decision, to make the choice and really be honest with yourself about, okay, well, what impact is this stuff having on me? I'm not saying that, it's, that you have to kind of like live in, you know, kumbaya land and not, not be self-aware around what's going on in the world. But it's understanding what your limits are around your energy. It's understanding, okay, if I continue, if I decide that I'm going to watch all of the George, George Floyd uh, trial on, on the internet, or, you know, I'm going to stay on social media and just, you know, read all of the comments about people ranting about this, that and the other, and just engage in all of the pain, what impact is that going to have on you, not just in today, but how, what impact is that going to have on you long term? You have to be willing to have the conversation with yourself around what are my limits? What, what, what are the limits around my energy? And, you know, I'm human being. I, I've had to take a, step, take a step away. So every now and then I might, you know, I might give myself 20 minutes or half an hour, whatever, to just look, and gen look generally at what's going on in the news. But I have not, I am not going to allow myself to stay on social media all day reading all of this stuff, looking at, looking at Boris in the UK, you know, talking about his nonsense and then looking at all the other stuff that's going on in the world, all of the, all of the painful things that's happening to our people. There's only so much bandwidth that we have, okay? There's only so much bandwidth that we have in order to, to take on a lot of this stuff. And it's only a matter of time before you end up in a state of despair, in a constant state of depression. And, you know, a lot of that stuff out there is depressing because it's constant. We're constantly being attacked all the time or having to deal with things that are stressful for us. So having a conversation with yourself about, you know, where, are, where am I spending my energy? What am I, what am I doing? You know, how am I interpreting all of, the, all of this data, all of this racist data or this stressful data that I'm experiencing, that I'm part of, that I'm seeing on in the news and whatever. What are you doing with all of that information? Because it will have an impact on, on you. Whether you whether you think it or not, consciously or unconsciously, it's going to have an impact on how you feel. It's going to have an impact on how you feel about yourself. It's going to have an impact on how you feel about yourself as a woman. It's going to have an impact on how you feel about yourself as a black person. But you just may not do it consciously. And the sober, th the emotionally sober thing to do is to have that conversation. How do I actually feel about myself as a black woman? And this is the third thing about being your being your um best friend. Okay, how do you? It's the relationship. Uh, it's understanding what relationship you have with your blackness. Okay, what are your racial boundaries? What are the, how do you feel about your your black body with all of this stuff going on in the world at the moment? How how does it make you feel about yourself? What, what dialogue are you telling yourself? What conversations are you telling yourself about your blackness when you're around all of this, when, you, when we live in a system that is anti-black, okay? And with all of this stuff, drama that's going on at the moment, what are the stories that you're telling yourself? What, what do you make your blackness mean? And these are not always conversations that we have with ourselves consciously, but in order for you to be your best friend, having those conversations with yourself is mandatory because how you feel about yourself is then going to have an it's going to have an impact on what you do okay it's going to have an impact on how you spend your time it's going to have an impact on where you sh where you um what you do with your energy okay all of that is going to have a massive impact and so 
it is so important for you to think about what are your racial boundaries and when we talk about racial boundaries they're specific to you know how you manage yourself as a black person it might be that you work in an office where there's a lot of white people where you know they want to they want they're trying to engage you in conversation about um all the stuff the stuff that's going on in the world at the moment and you well within your rights to say actually thanks for your concern but i don't really want to i'm not really ready to talk about that at the moment that's 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 an example of how you can be your own best friend as it relates to race. Okay, it might be that you that that you um that you take a mental mental health day off. Okay, it might be that you take a mental health day off. I think it's so important not to minimize all of the stuff that's going on in the world, and it's easy to dismiss it like, oh, you know, that's just what that's just how it is. This is what's going on. This is what's going on in the news or whatever, and just accept it as is part of it. But it's 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 important not to minimize it because that stuff does have an impact on on who we are it has an impact on how we feel about ourselves it has an impact on how we treat each other you know so it's important not to um not to uh not not to minimize it and to really take ownership on what you need Okay, so it, what you need might be that you step away for a while. What you need might be to book that mental health day. What you might need is to just, you know what, I'm just going to stay in bed. I'm just going to watch some movies. I'm going to um, I'm gonna have a nice Epsom salt bath. Um, you know, I'm going to go for a nice walk. What are the things that you need to, that you can do today, okay, that are going to help you be your own best friend? Go within and ask yourself, what do I actually need in this moment? What are the things that are really bothering me about the moment, about my time, my energy and my uh, the relationships, you know, the, the, the relationship that I have with myself around race? What are the things? And these are internal things. Notice the things that I talked about today are internal things. OK, when you have a deeper relationship with yourself, it, it's going to make it easier for you to understand how you're going to make choices externally as it relates to your relationships with other people, your family members, your partner, your children, all of that kind of stuff. But you have to do the internal check in first. That's what's important. That's ultimately what being your best friend is. Having that conversation with yourself about what's important. OK, so that's it. Those are the three things that are really, really important. OK, so just to give you a quick re recap on those three things. The first one is time. Where are you focusing your time? Where are you spending your time? Are you allowing other people to zap your time? OK, are you allowing other people to dictate how you should be spending your time when you should really be saying to that person, actually, I've only got half an hour. Are you spending two hours when you should only be spending half an hour? OK, the second one is energy. How are you allowing the, your external world to be internalized and then and then you're you're just getting so caught up in all of that stuff because you're not actually saying, actually, no, I don't have the bandwidth for that conversation at the moment. I don't have the bandwidth bandwidth to be looking at all of the anti-blackness and all of the, the racism and all the stuff that's going on in the news. I don't have the bandwidth for that at the moment, so I'm going to go and have a bath. And the third thing is around race, your relationship with your blackness. At the moment, you might be feeling vulnerable with everything that's going on. You might be feeling vulnerable about being what it means to be black because we don't know what's going to happen in terms of, um, you know, the George Floyd thing. We're not we don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of stuff going on at the moment that, 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 that creates the feelings of powerlessness and despair and frustration and anger. OK, so when we have those conversations, it's important to really focus on what is what is in your control at the moment. What are you in control of right now that can really help you to reduce your anxiety? Because the, the anxiety and the stress comes with not feeling that you don't have any power and that you don't have any choice and, that, and, and the constant state of feeling vulnerable in your black body. So it's important when you're being your own best friend to focus on those things that you that's in your control. You know, if you've got a therapist, go and, to, you know, go, go and book a therapist. If you, you know, I offer one-to-one -one sessions. If you'd like to book a session with me to talk about things, that's a, that's an amazing part of being your own best friend. You know, I I love seeing my therapist, speaking to my therapist. You know, it's one of the highlights of my week having a conversation with my therapist because it's an opportunity for me to really check in with myself and go, okay, how am I doing? 
you know if you're interested in in, in booking a session with me you can um click the link in the bio or go to heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net that's heal.juneallen.net if a one-to-one session is is uh is not for you maybe you want to you're looking for a sisterhood and you want to be in a group setting you know you want to be part of the mastermind again you can uh you can click the link in the bio or go to the same link um, for that um what we're studying at the moment in the mastermind is um uh or sorry this sunday is the next um session and we are going to be looking at it's a healing circle this week um and it's something that we do once a month there's you know every four weeks that we do we do like a rotating uh schedule where there's different things that happen across the month but the healing circle is something that does happen every month um and so the healing circle is just an opportunity just to check in just to see how you're doing um and what anchors that healing circle session we look at the characteristics of self-hate um the tools for empowerment and the gifts of sacred self-love so you you understand you you, the 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 characteristics of self-hate help you understand your behavior what you've internalized in terms of racism and 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 you know what that, how how it shows up in your life the tools for empowerment are suggestions for things that you can do to take care of yourself and then the the gifts of sacred self love um are the things that you've got to look forward to when you really commit to doing this work so um you know and that that happens as i said that happens once a month so if you're interested in joining the mastermind for that there's the healing circle that's happening this sunday it's 5 p.m. london time okay um, if you're just feeling generally quite stressed about everything that's going on, um, you can go to the same link that I said, heal.juneallen.net, heal.juneallen.net, that's heal.juneallen.net, and I have a free um, a, a sheet which is all about how to deal with racial stress, okay, the racial stress is going to, uh, the sheet is going to help you understand um, racial stress and also it's going to give you some tools as well as to what you can do how you can purge your anger how you can deal with the stress of what it means to have to deal with all of this stuff that we're dealing with as a community um you know uh, on a daily basis so yeah click the link in the bio you can find all of that stuff there thank you so much for joining me today if you've got any questions about anything that you've heard today you can send me a direct message or you can email me info at yard of greatness.com if you know anyone that if you enjoyed today's uh, live stream and you know anyone that might be interested in anything that I share today, then obviously share it with them, tag them. OK, have an amazing day. Enjoy the rest of uh, the weekend and I will see you next time. All right. Take care. Bye bye now.